Hello friends, myself Rajendra Mahajan presenting my video, one more video on linear differential equation. This one is a case number fifth as it is in the form of e raised to x into capital V where V is function of x, here that function of x is sine to x and therefore to obtain its solution first of all we have to obtain cf and for cf we write down the auxiliary equation it is d square minus 4d plus 1 is equals to 0 d is equals to minus of minus 4 plus minus root of b square minus 4 square that is 16 so you see a is 1 c is 1 and divided by 2 a is 1 and therefore 4 by 2 we get 2 plus minus 16 minus 4 it is square root of 12 and divided by 2 we have 2 plus minus uh, that square root of 12 we rewrite as 4 3 is 12 uh, root of 4 is 2 2 to get cancelled and therefore we get that term as 2 plus minus uh, root of 3 uh, this is the value of that d 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3 roots are not imaginary roots are real and distinct and therefore complementary function but not an integer quantity and therefore it is c1 e raised to m1x it is 2 plus root 3 times x plus c2 e raised to m2x m2 is 2 minus root 3 times x equation number 1 this is the first part of the solution called as complementary function. Two arbitrary constants C1 and C2. Then we require to find out PI, second part of the solution. It is by inverse operator technique d square minus 4d plus 1, which we have to operate on e raised to 2x multiplied by sine 2x. And as it is in the form of e raised to x, into v uh, applying the technique or the rule rule is we have to replace d by d plus a what is a a is the coefficient of x in this term and therefore we have to replace it by d plus 2 therefore the next step becomes we have to take this before the operation of that operator and so it is e raised to 2x this is the working rule 1 upon d replaced by d plus 2 whole square minus 4 times d plus 2 and plus 1 which we have to operate on v v is here sine 2x simplifying it we get e raised to 2x 1 upon expanding each and every term we get a plus b whole square a square minus b square y say b 4d plus b square 2 square 4 minus 4d minus 8 and plus 1 which we have to operate on sine 2x e raised to 2x 1 upon uh, d square no change 4d minus 4d get cancel uh, 5 minus 8 5 minus 8 we get minus 3 which we have to operate on sine of 2x and as we are operating it on sine ax plus b or cos ax plus b type of term case number 2 for pi replacement is here d square replaced by minus a square a is 2 2 square 4 and therefore we have raised to 2x d square replaced by minus 4 and minus 3 and into sine of 2x we get e raised to 2x as it is no change minus 4 minus 3 we get minus 7 and into sine 2x 
we call this a equation number two pi if all the steps are correct you will get two marks for cf one mark and a combination of these two last one mark and therefore combining these two equation equation one and equation two we get the final solution complete solution is always for dependent variable here the dependent variable is y cf is c1 e raised to 2 plus root 3 times x c2 e raised to 2 minus plus pi the value of pi of y is equal to cf c1 e raised to 2 plus root 3 times x c2 e raised to in bracket 2 minus root 3 times x and pi plus it is with minus sign e raised to 2x by 7 into sin 2x nothing but the complete solution and if you write down this step correctly you will get remaining one mark total four marks always this is the scheme of marking then one more i will discuss in my next video please like my video share it as well as subscribe to my channel and if you are not subscribed it please subscribe it and to receive the notification for my such type of new videos please press the bell icon thank you thanks for watching